EverWebinar is a webinar software built exclusively for automated and hybrid webinars. That means you can't run live webinars with it. For live webinars, check out Webinar Jam. The links are in the description. In this review, we'll focus on automated webinars and we'll summarize the pros and the cons of EverWebinar. An automated webinar is basically a pre-recorded webinar session, but the attendees still have to register to watch it. The automated webinar still includes audience interactions like polls, like offers, like asking questions, and so on. So let's jump into the pros and cons. The first thing I like about EverWebinar is that there are so many registration page templates that I can use. There are different layouts to the registration pages that uh, can feature, for example, the product image right here, or an introductory video like on this one, where I can set it even on autoplay. Or I can keep the registration page simple and just list out some bullet points that I'm going to cover during the webinar. And I can further customize all the texts, the fonts, the colors, and even the background. So that's a pretty good thing. Another thing I like here is that you can set up two uh, different registration pages and split test which one works better. Half of your visitors are shown variant A and the other half are shown variant B. And later you can see statistics to which one of those registration pages converts registrations better. You can also customize how the registration form would look like. However, one downside is that you can't add custom questions to the registration form. You can only add the first name, the last name, and the phone number, and you can make them mandatory if you want. However, you can still ask custom questions, but after the registration. After the attendees have registered, they can fill out the post-registration survey. Another well-done aspect for every webinar is the scheduling. You can have automated webinars start every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, or every full hour. And you can exclude night times, because who runs webinars at night? You can also have a just-in-time option, which means the webinar is just about to start in a few minutes when the visitor arrives at the registration page. Or you can have late attendance where people can join in an already running webinar. Okay, now let's talk about the automated interactions during the webinar. These are all the interactions that you can trigger during the webinar. And you can set a specific time mark when to trigger chat messages, when to trigger polls, when to trigger offers and notifications. So you can have a chat in your automated webinar and trigger each chat message uh, separately. Or you can import from a CSV, which is a chat log from a previous live webinar that you have done. Or you can enable a question box where people can ask their questions and the questions will be emailed to you so you can answer them. To further mimic a live webinar, you can set up a fixed number of attendees that will be always present in the webinar or you can have the attendee count dynamic. So it would change throughout the webinar. And of course, you can set up polls to trigger at a specific time mark. And you can opt to show the results after the voting is completed. One thing I want to point out here is that I always recommend fully disclosing that this is an automated webinar. There is nothing worse for an attendee to suddenly discover that this is a, an entirely simulated environment. This just creates a feeling of being deceived and it will not help your webinar sales at all. Speaking of webinar sales, you can set up automated product offers to trigger at a specific time mark during your webinar. This is one of my favorite features of Ever Webinar because I can include a product image, a, a text here and a really attractive call to action. And I can include urgency, so it will feature a countdown timer, so it would in encourage attendees to take action. A great addition uh, to the product offer is showing live sales notifications every time a simulated attendee uh, makes a purchase. You can set time marks for that as well. So I've set up all the interactions for different times, but I can't see an overview. One of the downsides for Ever Webinar interactions is that I can't see a linear timeline of all the different interactions that I've set up for my automated webinar. One thing you have to keep in mind that your attendees need time to decide. And that's where the follow-up comes in. 
I like it that in every webinar you can customize the follow-up email and you can actually segment your uh, attendees. That means you can send separate emails, for example, to the ones who registered but didn't attend, who uh, attended but didn't uh, order the product, or who attended but left before a specific time mark. As an attendee, this is how the registration form would look like for me. The video started auto playing on mute and the webinar is just about to start. So I can just click on register. After filling the registration form, I can just jump right in. And I can fill in the survey that the, the host has prepared. I'm now entering the webinar room. Right at the start, I see this big play button, start the broadcast, which is a little bit strange for a webinar. Already I can see the automated chat appearing. One downside here is that as I hover over the video, I will see the YouTube watermarks. And as I click the video, I can actually pause and choose another suggested YouTube video. That is very strange. And I wish they would detail that. This is how the polls would look like for the attendee. And they can vote. And after the voting is done, they can see the results. This is how an automated offer would look like for the attendee. There's a product image, there's the call to action button, the timer, and uh, the live notifications for purchases are running down here as I scheduled them. This is a sticky message customer testimonial that the host has set up and it will be sticky here. Now, let's talk about the pricing on Ever Webinar. The first thing you have to know about the packages is all the packages include all the features. It's just a matter of how much money are you willing to pay up front? The installment plan is a three-time payment for one year. The annual plan is a one-time payment for one year. And the biennial plan is a one-time payment for two years. This one is actually the cheapest option if you divide it by the months. One big upside for every webinar is the two-week trial. It just costs one dollar to sign up. And you can try every webinar for 14 days without any additional charge. After the trial period, you would have an additional 30 days to request a full refund for your first uh, payment. So there is no risk at all for you. If you think every webinar would be a great automated webinar marketing software for you, then use the link in the description to start your trial. Thanks for watching.